James Allison's fate is projected across the eons with a dire warning about a threat that only a gathering of heroes can face. Will Conan, Solomon Kane, and the rest be enough to fight the Black Stone? Let's find out in our review of Conan, Battle of the Black Stone number two from Titan Comics. See you in three. Welcome back to Comical Opinions. This is our review of Conan, Battle of the Black Stone number two. It's just amazing. In a year over stuff with soulless crossover events that make a lot of noise, but do very little to get readers excited, Conan Battle of the Blackstone number 2 gets everything right for a pulp action adventure of the highest order. Please, please, please give us more of this. Before we dig in, let's recap what happened last time. When last we left the collection of Robert E. Howard adventurers in Conan Battle of the Blackstone number 1, the eye sigil of the Blackstone sent out its siren song, a lot of S's there, across time and space, entrancing our heroes to commit acts of violence in the Blackstone service. The issue ended with a mysterious green flame consuming one of their own, James Allison, in a shared vision echoing across centuries. And that brings us to the current issue. In Conan, Battle of the Blackstone number two, the collective of Robert E. Howard's heroes hear and see the possessed visage of James Allison speak to them with words of wisdom and warning. El Barak, Conrad and Kirwan are visited in the middle of the Wanderers Club. Black Agnes sees Allison in 1522 France. Solomon Kane receives a vision in 1584 Africa. And Conan eyes the ghostly apparition outside the Pict's cult encampment during the Hyborian Age. What is this ghostly message the corpse of James Allison espouses? The eye sigil is a word that means the heroes across time are marked and hunted because only they have the power and the strength to stand in the way of what's coming. Alrighty, come on, Jim Zub, come on, man. This opening is like crack cocaine wrapped in catnip for Robert E. Howard fans. In script writing terms, the entire issue is a mega powerful call to adventure that transcends the time and status quo for each hero because it's presented to let everyone know they either need to fight or flee, and it's a safe bet none of them will flee. This is pulp serial adventure at its finest. Suddenly, a Lovecraftian beast as large as an elephant materializes and attacks the attendees of the Wanderers Club. Keen-eyed readers will recognize that it's the same beast we saw in the Solomon Kane short in the Savage Sword of Conan number no. 4 that came out a few weeks ago. Conrad and Kirwan dodge the mammoth attacks and fire with their pistols. El Barak grabs a nearby sword and slashes away. The beast, however, is unfazed by the expert defenders. It seems all hope is lost, but the tide turns when Brissa last seen teleporting to her future, their present in the Savage Sword of Conan number 4, appears to lend a hand. The beast disappears when it feels the sting of Briss's picked spear, but the beast's attack killed many and wounded El Barak in the process. One of the things we love about what Titan and Jim Zub are doing is the interconnectivity across titles. Brissa quote-unquote disappeared in the main Conan title, we learned of her fate in Savage Sword of Conan number four. Now Brissa has returned in this miniseries. The slavish adherence to continuity makes this story feel bigger and grander in scale, which is a must for crossovers that bring in characters from different locales and different themes of storytelling. The beast is gone, but James Allison isn't. Before his spirit fully disappears, a burst of light transports all heroes across all times and all locations to the very spot where Conan defeated the Pict's Blackstone cult in the Hyborian Age. The issue concludes with the return of the beast, but not in the same place or time, another hero lost to the beast's deadly attack, and the inescapable call to adventure from one of their own. It's a quick read, but overall it's a really satisfying read. Conan Battle of the Blackstone number 2 is another winning issue that brings a collection of Robert E. Howard's characters together in a manner that puts recent offerings for the Avengers and the Justice League, and every other big team you can imagine from the big two to shame. Jim Zub captures a pure spirit of adventure and excitement, and no comic available right now does it better. Let's switch gears briefly and talk about the art. Please, I I'm asking you very nicely, but maybe I'll get more insistent about it. Somebody give Jonas Scharf a raise, or at least an extra cup of coffee on us. Scharf's art style nails the grim, pulpy atmosphere. At the same time, the heroes are presented with an otherworldly apparition, and the action sequences are a fantastic mix of classic serial adventure and mystical power and magic. This comic looks fantastic. 
Final thoughts, what do we think about Conan Battle of the Blackstone number two? It assembles Robert E. Howard's adventurers to face a threat, hunting them across time and space. Jim Zub's approach to Howard's characters is spot on, and you couldn't ask for a better way to bring an eclectic team together. Plus, Jonas Scharf's artwork is dead center perfect. Therefore, Conan Battle of the Blackstone number two earns a 10 out of 10, well-deserved, well-earned. If you're a Robert E. Howard fan, you have so much to rejoice over, especially the way these miniseries and the main title are turning out. It looks great, and this series is truly the bee's knees. I know it's an old-fashioned old saying, but it applies here. But what do you think? Can you think of a better crossover event in the last year? I can't. Leave a thumbs up if you found this review helpful, and drop a comment below with your suggestions for which Howard character should get their own ongoing or miniseries. My money is still on Solomon Kane. Also, remember to click on the link in the description to read the written review, check out the varying covers and preview pages, and buy this comic to help support the channel. Your support is greatly appreciated. So thank you very much for joining, and stay tuned through the outro for more reviews just like this one.